What's up guys, today I'm going to do another deck profile for you, sticking along the lines of Pokemon Break cards. We are looking at probably the most popular break in the game right now, Grey Ninja Break. Um, go check out another break profile, a deck profile video I did on Zoroark Break. Also, there's a Raticate Break, in case you guys haven't caught on, I love Pokemon Break cards. I think they're a great mechanism to the game. And so, today I'm going to share with you a Grey Ninja deck. So, with our Grey Ninja deck, our main attacker obviously is Grey Ninja, which is why we run four copies of Froakie. This is entirely a water deck. Four copies of Froakie. He has one attack, bubble, flip a coin, if hedge your opponent's active Pokemon is paralyzed. Yeah, we don't we obviously don't want to stick with him as our attacker, but um, in order to get to our Grey Ninja break, we're going to have our Froakies. So there's our four Froakies that we run. Next up, we run a <clears throat> four copies of Frogadier, uh, whose attack is Water Duplicate. Search your deck for up to three Frogadier and put them on your bench. Shuffle your deck afterward. Check this out, guys. It basically works like this. You have your Froki as your active, and you have an energy attached to your Froki. When it's your turn, you can then evolve to Frogadier. And then hit Water Duplicates. You can search your deck for three Frogadier and place them immediately on your bench. You do not have to have Frokies down. So this is kind of a step up, or a leg up on your opponent. So we run four copies of Frogadier. So we'll go ahead and lay our Frogadiers out there. And we'll lay out our four copies of Froki. Now, we run a 4-4-4-3 four, 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 lineup. So to go with our fro four Frokies and four Frogadiers, we are running four copies of Grey Ninja. 130 hit points. Here are the attacks for Grey Ninja. We really focus on the first one if we're facing a deck that relies on abilities. But Shadow Stitching for one colorless energy does 40 damage. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, each Pokemon your opponent has in play in his or her hand uh, and in his or her discard pot has no abilities. So right now, Pokemon like Tapu Lele, who uses Wonder Tag, shuts it down. Oranguru that uses Instruct, shuts it down. Tapu Coco that uses Arrow Trail, shuts it down. The second attack for one Water Energy, Moonlight Slash, 60+. plus. You may return a Water Energy from your, your Pokemon to your hand. If you do, this attack does 20 more damage. You don't have to discard, it goes straight back to your hand. Guys, this, this card is in some ways a little broken with what it can do. So we'll have our four copies of Grey Ninja down there. Now, the, uh, the card that really makes the difference, we're running three copies of Grey Ninja Break. Check out this card. First of all, 170 hit points. That means that for the most part, Grey Ninja is going to survive two turns. The ability, Giant Water Shuriken. Once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may discard a Water Energy card from your hand. If you do, put six damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Holy smokes, you're putting 60 damage before you even get to attack. Now here is where this deck really works well. Let me clear off the map and <clears throat> kind of show you how you want to go about this. So you have your... Uh, put Froakie down. We'll just go ahead and put the whole evolution down. Frogadier, Grey Ninja, and you got your Grey Ninja break as your active. Now let's say you've got another Grey Ninja on the bench. Okay? So you got your bench, you got your active. Now what you want to do, and we'll go ahead and throw some energy on there. Okay. You can use Giant Water Shuriken, discard the water energy from your hand, put 60 damage on your opponent. Then you free retreat. Grey Ninja has no retreat cost. Make the next one your active. Discard another water energy for another 60. You've already done 120 damage before you even attack. Then you use either Shadow Stitching or Moonlight Slash. You guys, this deck, once it gets rolling, it's very very hard to stop, especially because it can attack for so little damage. So, 
all in all, very, very effective deck. Anyway, so we'll just go ahead and put our Pokemon back out there. Remember, we're running a 4-4-4-3 four, 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 lineup. So there are our four Frokies. We have our two, three, four Frogadiers. And one, two, three, four Great Ninjas to go with our one, two, three Great Ninja Breaks. Okay, almost at the end of our Pokemon lineup, guys, we are running one copy of Espeon EX from Breakpoint. For this first attack, Miraculous Shine, de-evolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon and put the highest stage evolution card into your opponent's hand. What you do is very simple, guys. You have Grey Ninja as your active, you play 60 damage on a Pokemon. Then you come in, retreat, come in with Espeon, and de-evolve that Pokemon. By doing that, you may ensure a knockout. I'll give you an example. Alolan Vulpix has 60 hit points. It evolves to Alolan Ninetales, which has a whopping 210. You play six damage counters on that Alolan Ninetales, then use Miraculous Shine. You've just knocked out the Vulpix. So, very, very good card. Sorry about the glare, guys. Let me see if I can fix that. Is that better? Okay. So, going along with this... Our last Pokemon in the bunch, Tapu Lele GX, simply for Wonder Tag. <clears throat> Bench it and look for a supporter. And then Energy Drive for double colors, 20 times the amount of energy attached to both Pokemon. Honestly, this is just there for Wonder Tag. So there's our Pokemon lineup. <clears throat> Again, we're using a 4 4 4 3 lineup for our frogs. Alright, so I'm just going to take our Pokemon. Move them off to the side for a minute, all right, guys? And then we will get into what we're running for supporters. This deck is a lot of fun, but like I said, uh, if you it, it, it can be troublesome if you don't get the ideal start. Okay, let's look at our supporter. Our supporter lineup is very straightforward. We are running several one-offs, but to help us search out our deck, Four copies of Sycamore, so I'm just going to lay those out right there. Keep our opponents on their toes. Two copies of N. Each player shuffles his or her hand and his or her deck. Shuffles the amount of prize cards they have remaining. Very good late game trainer. That's really all of our duplicate supporters, guys. The next lineup is, um, is our one-offs. We are running one copy of Ace Trainer. You can play this card only if you have more prize cards left than your opponent. Each player shuffles his or her hand, his or her deck, then draw six cards. Your opponent only draws three. So very similar to N in that it's a late game changer. Teammates. You can play this card only if one of your Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Search your deck for up to two cards, then put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. This type of deck, you kind of fall behind early. So, but then you, you kind of sweep up later as you get evolved. So, teammates is actually a really good trainer to use because then you can look for the specific cards you need for your Great Ninja. If we need an extra 20 damage, one copy of Kukui. Go ahead and place in there. Now we have a Wally for our fast start. Here's why you can play Wally on your first turn. If we can start with Froki and Wally into Frogadier as we're going second, we can then hit water duplicates and have our bench ready. One copy of Lysander, switch your opponent's bench Pokemon with his or her active. And Fisherman, because we're going to be discarding energy, so we've got to be able to get it back. Put four basic energy cards from discard pile into your hand. So there are our supporters, guys. And again, just like the Pokemon, I'll um, put them in stacks for you. I'm just going to put the one-off trainers in one stack, though. Okay, guys, just for space. Now... Onto our trainers, or our items rather. By the way, we're running no stadiums in this deck. No stadiums. To help us search out our, fro our ninja frogs, four copies of Dive Ball. Kind of sad this one's going out of rotation. It's really good for water Pokemon. Search your deck for a water Pokemon, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck afterward. It could be any Pokemon, guys. Any water Pokemon. It doesn't have to be a basic or an evolved one. Continue to help us out. We have Ultra Ball. Discard two cards from your hand. Drop, uh, 
select a Pokemon from your deck. Now, you guys notice that we're running a stage two Pokemon plus a break. So to help speed up evolutions, we're running three copies of Rare Candy. To help us hit a little bit harder, two copies of Choice Band does 30 extra damage to your opponent's EX or GX Pokemon. A little disruption to get rid of those tools and stadiums, field blowers. Now this card's also falling out of rotation, but four VS Seekers to help us get back our supporters. Unfortunate that it's falling out, but there are ways, totally ways around um, not having a VS Seeker. Actually, I, I kind of like that we're losing VS Seeker because it's forcing people to really change up how they play. Again, to help us get energy and our Pokemon back, Super Rod, Shuffle 3 and any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile back into your deck. And our final trainer for this deck is Rescue Stretcher. Put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand or shuffle three from your discard pile into your deck. So very straightforward trainers, guys. This deck's trainers are basically there just to help you get your Grey Ninjas in play. It's really what it's all about. It's just getting your Ninjas in play, your Froggies in play and getting that energy back okay now we're running two special energy that's two copies of splash energy this card can only be attached to water types this card provides water energy while this card is attached to a water pokemon very straightforward if the water pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack put the pokemon in your hand that's why we're running it get our frogs right back and then finally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight copies of water energy. All right. So there it is. That's the Great Ninja Break deck I am running. Uh, be sure to be on the lookout for our very first TCGO game online. That's right. Nanelli and I, I don't mean the the trading card game online. I'm talking about an actual battle on our YouTube channel. Then Nelly and I will be posting a battle between Grey Ninja Break and Tapu Koko GX. So be on the lookout for that, guys. Um, it's going to be fantastic. We're really excited, looking forward to doing battles for you. Um, as always, please, if you enjoyed this video, show us some love with a like. Um, if you have ideas on how to maybe make this deck better, leave a comment for me. And hey, if you like us that much, man, subscribe. It's the red button right underneath this video. Hit that subscribe button for tons more Pokemon TCG content. A, a few more days till Burning Shadows. I know a lot of you have gone out there and gone to the pre-releases and got all kinds of stuff. A, leave comments. Uh, leave comments on our YouTube, on our Instagram, letting us know what kind of sweet pulls you got from Burning Shadows. Have an awesome, awesome day.